are enjoying the sunshine in New Hampshire, so let's go explore and eat together. We are trying out Cole's Kitchen, which is an all vegan restaurant here in Concord. And so they actually just opened up in the year 2020. And so anytime I see or hear of a restaurant that's opened in 2020, they're still here. That's awesome. Keep supporting local. Because they are all vegan, we decided to go with a wrap. Um, it has in-house made um, tzatziki sauce, falafel, avocado, and hummus. Um, and the food here takes a while to wait for and to make, and so definitely be patient if you decide to order here. Um, but it just smells really good, it looks really good. Um, and so I'm looking forward to taking a bite out of this. Thick, it's good. I wish the portion was like maybe a little bit of a bigger of a wrap, to be honest, but I mean, it's really stuffed nicely in there and it tastes really good. This is $14, so I would expect it maybe to be a little bit thicker, a little bit bigger. This is only one half of it, but next I want to show you what really took me to Kohl's, a milkshake, vegan milkshake, that actually, um, what they're known for is their pie and cake milkshakes. So when you walk up to the bakery side, you can pick any of their pastries or pies and they'll cut a slice for you and blend it in with their milkshakes. Again, non-dairy, all vegan. And it's so great because as you can tell, I already drank a lot of it. But what's really great about these is that they're not super sugary. And like with every slurp, you get that like a little bit of that cake feeling, the frosting, and then the regular flavor that you decide whether that's coffee, whether that's vanilla or strawberry. We want the vanilla ice, vanilla, you know, dairy-free ice cream with um, a vanilla cake, and it was really, really good. So definitely recommend this. Like, don't leave without getting a cake shake. Enjoying time outside in nature here in New Hampshire. We are actually just outside of the Veterans Memorial Park and so we are actually going to enjoy some Mexican food that we got from to go um, in downtown Manchester. We ordered this specific meal um, because it was specifically from like the style of Zacatecas which is a state in Mexico and so this is called Las Gorditas and gorditas means like little short woman basically little fat woman um, and it's filled and stuffed with al pastor pineapple cut onions it looks really good they had other options as well like uh, shrimp and steak also with a side of rice and some sour cream and lettuce tomato going on and so i'm gonna just go ahead and actually try this um, as it is without putting anything else on top as you can tell jude had a bite already <laughs> but i'm gonna take this and what's really interesting about this is that these are still corn tortillas, but they're made thick and actually stuffed inside with the meat and the veggies and all that. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna take a bite. Oh, and to note that there is salsa verde in here. I really like the tortilla. The flavors are nice, but the al pastor, which is the pork, it's a little dry for me. Yeah, it's a little bit dry, so I wish maybe there was like more moist, or even more salsa into this to make it just feel more juicy. But it's actually pretty well made. It's all intact. It's my first time trying something like this, so maybe the meat is meant to be a little bit drier, but overall it's okay. Not necessarily my favorite or maybe worth the price, but if you want to try a cute little shop, you can go to El Rincon in downtown Manchester, New Hampshire. I'm gonna try out the next plate that we got from this uh, Mexican restaurant. So this one is called El, Pala El Palando Al Palazzo. Al Palazzo. 
whistling and applauding. That's the English version of this name, but the Mexican one is... Chiflando. Chiflando. E. E. Aplaudiendo. Chiflando e aplia plando. You know what? I can't say it. Sorry, my tongue is refusing to live. So here we have pork and steak mix and we have some rice and some beans and some healthy stuff which I don't really like but it's good. So I'm gonna try out the meat first. You can see all in one. I don't know which one is which. Mm, I like it. I like it. There's nothing wrong with it. I'll try some um, this white stuff in it. I don't know what is that but oh it's cheese. Mm. The white stuff actually give a nice kick. Then I'm gonna try some rice. Right oh, interesting! This rice comes with some corn beans. That's cool. Okay, nothing special about the rice. Beans, I like it. The meat, I had to try again. Yeah, I like it. Try some veggies over here. Nothing special. You have some. Tomatoes, cucumber, onions. Yeah. I like it. Both of the plate cost about forty to forty-five dollars. Is it worth it? No, not at all. In Los Angeles, San Diego, Texas, you can eat way more tastier Mexican food over there comparing to this one but it's way overpriced maybe that's the reason the restaurant is empty but tasty wise it's not the biggest fan but there is taste that you can enjoy so this place had good reviews in google and yelp but maybe for the locals they are very good with their test plate or maybe something new for their test plate so they like this kind of food but for us coming from california it's not the best taste. Kind of disappointing reviewers. And that is a wrap on our journey here in New Hampshire and in overall New England. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to figure out where we're going next. We want you to join us. Mm -hmm.